What's up everybody, Hudson here, and in today's video I'm gonna share with you 12 different workout equipment gift ideas for the person in your life that has a home gym. Now with these pieces of equipment, we're not gonna talk about the basic things like dumbbells and barbells and bumper plates. We're gonna assume the person you're getting the gifts for already has those basic needs met. So with these pieces of equipment, we're talking about things that are a little less conventional that most people might not have in their gym, but are still very versatile and a lot of people can benefit from if they were to add them into their equipment list. A lot of these pieces of equipment I already own, but there's some that I wish that I did own in this list. So babe, if you're watching this, make sure you have a pen and paper nearby. But how we have them listed out is we're gonna start with the most cheapest items, around $25 to $30 to start, and then work our way up to about $100 to $200 depending on what your budget is for your gift. All right, now let's get started. Be sure to hit that like button, and let's get right into equipment piece number one. First on the list, we have a dip belt. This is a very inexpensive piece of equipment that doesn't take any space at all, but it helps people do weighted dips, weighted pull-ups, and a few other weighted exercises depending on what their workout program calls for. If the person you're looking to get a gift for does mostly bodyweight style training, this is a great gift to give them, so that way they're not just doing countless amount of pull-ups and dips all day long, they can make the move more challenging by adding weight to it, thus allowing them to still see progress within the gym. If the individual already has barbell plates or kettlebells or even gets kind of creative and uses dumbbells, they can use any of those pieces of equipment they already have to do the movement weighted, thus allowing them to get more bang for their buck when they're performing those exercises. So if the person you're getting a gift for loves bodyweight exercises, this is the gift for them. Now number two on the list is fat grips. These are a grip that you add on to dumbbells, barbells, or pull-up bars to make the circumference of the area bigger, thus making it more, more taxing and more challenging on your grip, as well as your arms, to help increase the endurance, strength, and the size of your muscles. I have these and I love them personally. I use them for a lot of farmer carries and bicep curls to help increase my grip and my bicep strength, and it's very easy to just throw in my gym bag and add them to my workouts whenever I need them. So if the person you're looking to get a gift has kind of small arms, this might be the gift for them. Number three on the list, we have a dip stand. These are awesome, very cheap, very easy to use piece of equipment that's easy to store and move around throughout the gym versus having something like a heavy duty dip stand that's a little bit harder to maneuver. But there is also that option of getting a dip stand that also comes with a pull-up bar so you're killing two birds with one stone and allowing them to do that much more exercises with that piece of equipment. But otherwise, a set of dip bars is absolutely amazing and can be very beneficial for a lot of people. Not only can you do dips on them, you can do push-up variations, you can do different types of rowing variations. It's very versatile for being such a basic piece of equipment. So definitely a solid gift to consider. Now number four, definitely one of my favorite pieces of equipment that's underutilized in a lot of programs, and that is a sandbag. Sandbags are awesome because you can do carries, you can do cleans, you can do presses overhead. They're very, very versatile, but they're very, very challenging because of the nature of just being a big bag of sand. These come in all different sizes. You can get bags from as little as 30 pounds or as heavy as 200, 250 pounds, depending on what you think that person would like the most. But with these, they come empty. All you have to do is go to a home improvement store and get a couple bags of sand for dirt cheap, no pun intended, and then fill up the bag and then you're good to go. Not only is a piece of equipment really versatile, but it's really easy to just throw it in the back of a truck or anything and just take it anywhere and you can use it at your campsite, you can use it while at the beach, you can use it anywhere and not be afraid of scuffing it, breaking it or anything like that because it's meant to take a beating. So if you know someone that likes to do lots of road tripping or go camping and things like that, definitely a great piece of equipment for them. They can just load up with them and take so they can get workouts anywhere. Now number five isn't necessarily a piece of workout equipment, but for number five we have a whiteboard. Personally, I have a really big whiteboard that I use and write down my workouts with. I write down any ideas that I might have for future workouts. I write down things that pop up in my head and say, hey, don't forget to run this errand after I'm finished doing this workout. So I just like having a big whiteboard, collect all my workouts on there. All my friends come into the gym, they can write down their workouts as well. So something that's very, very useful and can be very beneficial for a lot of people that like to write down their workouts, see their workout and get it done versus opening up their phone and having to see what's next on the list. Now number six on the list, which again isn't necessarily a piece of workout equipment, but it's still something I believe everyone should have for their workouts, and that is a good pair of earbuds. Now when people hear earbuds, they typically think AirPods, but for the older models, they're around 130 bucks each, but for the brand new ones, it's 160 or more depending on where you look. So I wanted to find an affordable pair that I would last me a long time and still had the same type of sound and quality as AirPods, and that's when I found ESC Sounds. I've been using them for years now. I actually partnered up with them and have an affiliate link with them. So if you check out the link down below and go through there, not only will you get 10% off, they're already only 110 bucks to start. So 
save some money, don't pay for that name brand that's literally all you're paying for at the end of the day. Get yourself a good quality pair of earbuds that still have good sound, good bass, fit in your ears like a glove, even though I have weird shaped ear holes that tend to not fit the AirPods quite well. These have a nice soft gel tip that help form to your ear and sit there nice and tight so you can go through your workout without fear of them moving around or falling out. Next we have barbell and weight storage racks. These in my opinion are a great piece of equipment to have for a lot of people that don't have a lot of space and are really confined to a tight corner of their garage or their basement or wherever they're working out at. So I love these because it helps keep things nice and tidy. You can help store everything in the corner and it fits a good amount of bumper plates as well as a few barbells depending on which set you go with. So if you see someone that has just their plates laying on the floor, kind of stacked up somewhere, they have their bars up against the corner or something like that, this is a great piece of equipment you can get them that's gonna help make their gym look and feel a lot cleaner, organized, and just more welcoming when they come to work out in. Now number eight on the list is a hex trap bar. I was contemplating putting farmer carry handles here, but instead I picked this piece of equipment because you can still do farmer carries with this piece of equipment, but it allows you to do a lot more exercises as well. This is a great tool for someone that might be older and might have limitations in their mobility, might have certain problems with certain joints throughout their body, but still won't be able to lift heavy weights off the floor. So if you're someone that wants to do deadlifts in their programming, but they just can't go as heavy or it's not quite as comfortable as it used to be back in the day, great tool that allows them to be a little more upright in the deadlift and not put as much strain on their lower back. Now number nine on the list is a plyo box. There are three main styles when picking a plyo box. The first one is the wood style, then there's the foam, and then there's the metal cage one. In my opinion, the most versatile one is the foam one because obviously you can jump on all of them, but if you wanted to use a box in place of a bench because you don't have a bench yet, you can use it for bench press and gives a lot more reassurance to the person that if they were to end up trip or slip off the box or anything like that, they're not going to jack up and rip their shins open. So I love my foam pile box a lot. The only downside to it is, is that it's a little bit harder to maneuver because it is a really, really dense foam. And just like all the pieces of equipment that we've mentioned in this list so far, you get what you pay for in quality. I've used some boxes that were like 80 bucks on Amazon and the foam is like five pounds. So it doesn't feel very stable when you jump on it. It's very easy for it to kind of topple over. Whereas the more expensive ones come with a more dense and solid foam. So you still feel nice and stable when you land on it, but it's not going to wobble or have any kind of problem being stable once you jump up on it. Now for number 10, we have an adjustable bench. If someone doesn't have a bench, period, a regular flat bench could be just as good, but if they already have a decent flat bench now but you want to upgrade it for them, an adjustable bench that is able to raise up and incline is a great piece of equipment that I'm pretty sure almost everyone will be very appreciative of. When picking them out, I recommend ones that look very basic, and what I mean by that is, is one that just raises the back pad up and down. There's some that have leg support, some that have uh, thigh supports and different things like that, but from my experience and what I've seen a lot of people do with their workouts, they don't typically need those. Those, bench, those styles of benches are slowly phasing out and less and less people are using those. Whereas just a plain old bench that's nice and sturdy, made of good metal and hard foam and has a solid latch system so it's not like a little teeny pin that doesn't feel very stable when they adjust the height is a great piece of equipment that most people will be very appreciative of and I'm sure they'll be very happy to see it when they get that as a gift. Now number 11 on the list is crash pads. This is an absolutely amazing tool if you know anybody that lives really close to their neighbors and doesn't want to make any noise. Maybe they have a child and they're working out early in the morning or late at night and don't want to wake them up. Or maybe they live in an apartment complex where they can't really drop and make a lot of noise because they have a lot of units around them. So with these crash pads, it helps absorb the weight, making it not only less uh, of a shake on the ground once they drop the weight, but also makes a lot less noise and just makes the, the quality of life of not having to control bars every single time to the floor that much better. So if you know anyone that does any type of Olympic lifting style training or uses bumper plates that they typically drop from the shoulders or overhead, this is something that I think they would drastically be appreciative of and would make a big difference in how effective they are with their workouts. Now, last but not least, number 12 is the crossover symmetry. There are a lot of other options out there and there are a lot of other knockoffs that aren't as good of quality and tend to break and just wear out a lot sooner. Whereas crossover symmetries, if treated right, can last for years and years. And most of the time, if you let them know and say, hey, this is going a little stray or this is kind of falling apart, if you send it to them, they'll send you back a replacement without uh, many questions at all. So if you want something that's gonna last a very long time, it's a great tool. 
but what this does is it helps strengthen your rotator cuff, strengthen your rhomboid, strengthen the muscles around your shoulder blades, thus allowing you to set your shoulders in a good position and prevent any excessive rounding of the upper back when it comes to certain exercises. And just overall, make sure you're having good posture throughout your day as well as in your training to make sure you're not putting your shoulder in any kind of compromised position. This is definitely a pricier tool and it's definitely for someone that's a little more experienced and understands the importance of accessory type of workouts. There's some people out there that just do lift heavy and they slam the bar around and they call it a day, but they don't really focus on the little nitty gritty things, a lot of the accessory movements. But if you know the individual that you're getting a gift for, really focuses on moving well, making sure their body feels good and taking care of themselves, this is probably one of the best gifts you can possibly get them and will help them stay healthy, lift weights, and see progress for years and years down the road. All right, guys, and there you have it. Those are my 12 items that I recommend you consider when looking for workout equipment, gift ideas for someone that has a home gym. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fitness content just like this. And let me know down below in the comments what gift you're contemplating getting for that special someone in your life. Before you go, be sure to check out the videos I have posted to the side of other fitness related equipment as well as my garage gym setup. And check out the links down below for easy access to all the equipment that was mentioned in this video. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.